In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between nominal and real accounts in financial accounting. Now, nominal accounts are things like revenues, any type of expense, dividends, and what makes them a nominal account is that they're going to be closed out. All these accounts are going to be closed out at the end of a year. That means we're going to bring their balances to zero, and we're going to transfer their balance to a stockholder's equity account called retained earnings retained earnings and because we only track revenues expenses and dividends for a single year or quarter we, we just track them for a certain period of time and then zero them out and close them out to retained earnings we also call them temporary accounts so so nominal accounts are also known as temporary accounts whereas real accounts these, the, all these balance sheet accounts, assets, liabilities, and equity, these are all real accounts. So like cash, for example, that's the type of asset, so cash is a real account. So the real accounts are also known as permanent accounts. Now what does that mean? That means that, so let's take an asset, let's take cash. So if you look at the cash balance for General Electric as of its last balance sheet, that is the cash balance since the inception of the company, since the company began over a hundred years ago, all the different transactions that have happened with the cash account up until the most recent balance sheet date, that's the cash balance, right? It's not just what happened with cash in the most recent year. But if you were to look at General, uh, General Electric's income statement and you see revenue, that's just revenue for the most recent quarter or for the most recent year. It's not all the revenue that General Electric has ever had since the company's inception, since when the company was started, right? You just track revenues, you track expenses, dividends, you track these temporary accounts, these nominal accounts for a quarter, for a year, then you close them out, you bring their balances to zero and transfer them to the permanent real account retained earnings. And if there are no retained earnings, if the firm's accumulated losses, then this would be called accumulated deficit. You would close out the temporary accounts to accumulated deficit. I want to show you a, an adjusted trial balance just to give you an idea of, of how this would work. Now, I've got another video on the closing process if you want to learn more about that. But let me just give you, so if we look here, we've got cash, that's an asset, that's a permanent account. Account receivable, that's an asset, that's a permanent account. Right, so all our balance sheet accounts are permanent or real accounts. So the accounts that are temporary, we have dividends and then also these with service revenue, rent revenue, all these accounts here, all the expenses, all these accounts are temporary accounts, which means at the end of the period, so let's say it's, so it's December 31st, 2018, it's the end of the period, what we need to do, what your accountant is gonna do your accountant is going to go and say, oh, okay, we've got dividends of 5000 I better bring that account to zero. How do you bring that account to zero? Well, you would credit dividends for 5000 So if we're going to make an entry where we uh, credit dividends for 5000 you say, well, we, we need a debit. We need a corresponding debit to this balances. What do we debit? Well, we debit retained earnings. We debit retained earnings. That makes sense. Dividends are going to decrease retained earnings. So now our revenues, we need to do something similar, right? We have 93,000 and 13,000. So we have $106,000 in revenue. I just added these two together. So we're going to need to, to debit revenue because we have credit balances there. I'm just gonna add them together. So we'll just say revenues, we'll debit for 106,000. And so that's, that's 106,000 here. That's the, these two added together. And then if we were to add all the expenses together here, we have $73,000 in expenses. So we have to make a credit. In, in reality, we would make a credit to selling expense, credit to cost of goods sold individually. I'm just lumping them together as 73,000 just so you don't have to watch me write all that out. So expenses would be credited for 73,000. But you see, we've got an issue here. We've got an issue here. So we've got 106,000 on the debit side, 73,000 on the credit side. So to make this balance, we need a credit of $33,000 here. So what do we credit? Well, we credit retained earnings. We credit this retained earnings account. And if you look at this, this 33,000 that, that we're crediting retained earnings for, is basically this retained earnings, th this is just the net income, right? Because all the revenues, the revenues minus the expenses 
that's just the net income. So this is the net income for the period. And so if you think about what we're doing here, so we let's, this, this is the first year of operations for this firm, let's say. So their beginning balance of retained earnings, the beginning balance was zero. So you don't see it in the trial balance because they didn't have any retained earnings to begin with. So we'll say beginning balance of retained earnings was zero. And then we're going to add net income of 33000 and then we're going to subtract the dividends of 5000 and that gives us our ending balance or our ending balance of retained earnings retained earnings ending balance is 28000 and and let's take a look at our entries that we made here so we debited retained earnings for 5000 and we credited it for 33000 so there's $28,000 increase in retained earnings. So now, if we've closed out, at this point, we've closed out, so the dividend account will be gone, all the, the revenue accounts, the expenses, all these accounts will be gone. And we'll actually, so now that we've closed these out, we actually come up with a post-closing trial balance, right? So now we've got the adjusted trial balance. We'll come up with a post-closing trial balance, in which case, all of the temporary accounts right all of all these accounts again are temporary dividends revenues expenses all the temporary accounts they have been brought to zero so if you were to look and say okay january 1 at midnight on 2019 what's the balance in service revenue it'd be zero because we zeroed it out right so we zero out all those accounts and we transfer these temporary all these accounts are temporary accounts that we just track those things for the year and then we 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 transfer them all to the permanent account of retained earnings right which is a balance sheet account and so it's not like we're just getting rid of these and they just disappear we bring them to zero but we transfer their balances to the permanent account retained